Well, the main reason was for me to be able to write better the scientific articles which I need to uh, write as part of my job at the university, as being university researcher and teacher. I'm in third year of master, so I need to prepare my thesis. So I need to know the basics and the important uh, part of uh, introduction, uh, body and conclusion of thesis. For me, it's like the same. I also am in my second master uh, year, so I need to work on my thesis. And yeah, I also need to know the, the most important parts of, of a, an article I need to write. Before I participate this uh, course, I had a problem with uh, making a structure and it was the most important uh, things that I learned uh, in this uh, course. Uh, because now I know how to uh, mention uh, every part of my speech in better uh, structure and uh, yeah, it was very good. Yeah, for me, similar reason, not just about the presentation, but also because of the writing. Uh, I used to, I was never actually like schooled in the way how to write a scientific article. It was all just because I read them. So I was trying to imitate, but I didn't know the rules or reasons behind. And this course helped me a lot to actually realize how it should be done, how you should like make the main point in the beginning to attract the reader and then to provide the evidence and then solution and things like that. So it's really helpful for me and for the future and it will probably um, ease the process of writing of the article for me very much significantly. I think also it's nice that we have now some rules to go back to um, when we are writing or we need to present something. I guess some of the formal and informal words which should be used I also take it take as a surprise that the the way how you should write an article in academic writing and the way how you should present in person is different like the difference between usage of uh, formal and informal language in between um, writing and presenting was surprising for me because I was thinking before that it should be like the same and now I learned that in presenting you can actually use much simpler language mm -hmm. But in writing, you can actually focus on the like terms, scientific terms, and things like that. Um, and it's actually better to use formal language there, and maybe a little bit more informal in the presentation. Yeah. Also, uh, the things that surprised me was uh, the researcher presentation shouldn't be boring. They can be <laughs> fun, and they can uh, present in an interesting and attractive way. Yep. atmosphere <laughs> yeah the atmosphere was very f friendly uh, and teachers the students and it was like a support team and we learned together it wasn't like a course that you are doing it alone I felt like I am doing as a group mm -hmm. I think group it's member. also yeah I think it's also nice that that we are with that many people with in different stages of their academic career and that uh, that makes it more interesting because then you get to know each other in, in another way and also a lot of cultures that are coming together and I think that's also very uh, interesting. Yeah, I completely agree. Yeah.